Hello. Serena Adcock, just what do you think you're doing at this time of the morning, girl? <laughs> Trying to get up and get dressed. God love her. <laughs> hey, it's Gary in Bristol from Kiss Country 93.7. Oh, hi. 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 How in the world are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are y'all? Doing good. And we realize this is so out of the blue, but Kelsey Polk told us all about you and we just really wanted to meet you. Did she now? Yeah. Uh huh. How yeah. do you feel about that? Um, confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, she wrote us a letter and I'm hoping you've got a moment that we can uh, read it to you. Yeah, sure. She says, my mom, Serena, is the kind of lady you want in your corner. She's a wife, a mother to three girls, a sassy to one grandson, and has an aunt to and is an aunt to a niece that she has claimed as a bonus child. She doesn't realize how many people she has touched in physical form and or emotional form. From serving with the church, the weekly care she does to help with her 93-year-old grandfather, the drop of a hat moments that she's there for her grandson, to being the person you call when you need advice, a listening ear or support she tells you how things are with zero sugar coating too that's for <laughs> sure she could easily complain about how much is on her plate but she doesn't and instead will tell you that she does it because she loves you she does yeah. all of this while working a full-time job at a company that she's been with for 14 years most days she wears herself so thin yet finds enough to keep pouring into others with a smile I could write so much more, but I'm going to leave it at she does not go unnoticed. And I hope she knows that. We love her. Oh, my God. That is so sweet. <laughs> God, Serena, I think we love you, too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Hey, listen, kiddo. Uh, you are this week's recipient of the Kiss Country Caught in the Act Award. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh I don't know you, if you're familiar. You get, to, you get to wear the halo for an entire week. We're going to be bragging about you on the radio. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you get a $100 gift card to go have a great meal at Silver Star. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> like that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm guessing these babies of yours have been following in your footsteps, too. Oh, I hope so. They, they're good kids. They're really good kids. So when they uh, when they have come to you before with a difficult situation and Kelsey writes that, you know, you give advice with no sugar coating, uh, <laughs> you know, if, if they came to you and said, Mom, I failed chemistry, what, what would Mom say then with no sugar coating? Well... Did you study? Did what did we do? Do we need a tutor? What, what can we do to fix it? See, you that's know? that's that's perfect because I've always said that we attack the outcome as opposed to the process. The process mm -hmm. is what needs to be brought into question. Did you study? Did you do your homework? Did you prepare yep. for this? Because you know, if they just can't take a test, then there might be a different issue. Right. Correct. Yes. And I come from a long line of teachers. I, everyone besides me were teachers in Caddo Parish and school is important. And we, you know, emphasize school and your education and getting it done. Wow. Well, you sound like an amazing lady. Can we have your, can we come to your house for Thanksgiving? <laughs> Because she doesn't have anything else going on, Gary. Yeah, come on, come uh, on. Uh, uh, Serena, congratulations, and thank you for being here. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you.